Hello everybody, we Paddy from Across the Shock and uh, you're very welcome. This is our little pass, another one of our little pass around group knives. Uh, these two are come from Al over at UK Legal Knives. Um, I've just done two from Slick Slicers. So Al has sent me two beautiful knives. This one is one I've been really, really looking forward to having a look at. This is the Wee Scamp. This is a very expensive little knife, but we'll talk more about that later. This is the Kaiser in titanium, the zip slip. <coughs> I have the G10 version of this, so that's going to be a nice comparison knife. So I'm going to set that to the side for now, and we're going to have a look at this little beauty. Now, excuse me, I'm going to have a wee drink of tea here. That's better of a frog in my throat. Now, this is uh, over $200, this knife. But, but, it is a beautiful piece of art. If you can look at the scales on that knife, like a, like a bronze underneath a darkened, uh, I don't know what way you would put it, it's, it's like an old bronze has just been rubbed, if you know what I mean, and got black over years. It is just the most beautiful looking knife. Lovely wee pivot on it. Wee pivot. <laughs> so, and look at that long slender drop point blade. And it looks like it's, it's, it's satin, but it looks like it's hand finished. Hand sanded. I'm not sure they could do that on a, on a model that they're making so many of. But whatever way they have done it, it is stunning. I genuinely love that. Everything is just brushed this way. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know where I can get that. It's just, it really is stunning. It is perfectly fit and finished. Perfectly up the centre. Beautiful little knife. But it is very thin. There's my finger. And look how thin that knife is. You know, it's even thinner than my finger. So, <coughs> let's give you, it's less than half an inch. Well, it's about half an inch across. Very slim. The back spacing is absolutely beautiful. On a pull of a traditional knife, it's probably about a three, maybe a four at a push. But I would say about a three. There's not much there to do it. But... I would say this is a letter opener for me. It's such a slim blade. This to me would be a letter opener. There it's there. So it's just barely. Let me just see. It is. It's under half an inch depth this way. So really, really slim. But if you needed to do something like a bit of cardboard cutting, you can creep up here. If you can see the choil, then you have a sharpener's choil at the end of this ricasso here. So you can get your finger in there and that knife will not close on you. So you could quite happily go ahead and cut a piece of cardboard. I believe it's S35VN. Not 100% sure, but I think that's what it's made of. I should have checked. But the, I enjoy these videos because they're just our chance to have a look at other people's knives. And you're not under any pressure. I'll put their two channels down below. And you can go over and have a look. They'll have full reviews on this. I'll just pick one and, and throw it up. And you, But you can go through and look. They're both cracking channels. So, what do I got? I haven't got anything that is really like this although the nearest i have got is this to your knife this is the sunday night special i think they call it or saturday night special um thickness wise it's about the same although this has a lock on it um it's the nearest i have to a comparison if you know what i mean it's so thin this knife i don't have anything really it would remind me of the size of a toothpick like a medium-sized toothpick um, that's what it reminds me of, although it's been straightened up. <laughs> the other thing I've got here, slip joint wise, that's the same size as it, is the Rough Rider. And this is their Workman, the Rough Rider, the new rendition, their Swayback Jack uh, Rough Rider Workman. Absolutely cracking little knife, which costs probably about the same price as this. Probably less than what this, this lanyard bead cost, but it's, uh, it's a size comparison. <coughs> Just under seven inches long with three inch uh, blades. The cutting on these is, the 
cutting is about just over two and a half. But a beautiful knife. And to me, <coughs> to me, it is just a, a death knife. What a Sunday knife. And yeah, I suppose take the church. You'll always have a knife on you with a decent sized blade on. If you want to cut your apple up and work. A be I, I sort of, I'm now starting to find different reasons why I would carry this knife. Because it is so beautiful. Uh, the price for me would be prohibitive because... I wouldn't use it that much, so the price would be the pro prohibitive thing for me and not the knife itself, because it is made beautifully. It really is a stunning little knife. I'm so glad. I've seen it on his channel and watched his video, but it's different when you can get something right up close. Have a look at the detailed work in that milling. I mean, in between every little thing, there's milling. It is just so well done. Can you see that? It is stunning. Stunning, stunning, and the bronze, the, the, the pivot, which has got that lovely wee, in the centre of it, and the bronze, the, I think these are T six, might even be T four. They look really small, but a gorgeous knife. It doesn't need to have a, a great spring tension on it because it wouldn't be used for hard work, in my opinion. So we'll set that up there, and we'll move on to the second one. And the second one is one that I have, not this particular model, but I have a G10 version. This is a all titanium with that sunburst handle, which is beautifully carried out. Really lovely, slim knife, deep carry pocket clip. Sorry, there's no pocket clip on that. So I think I would like to get a nice sheath made for that. But this one is, look, you could... You can't get it, you can't flick it with your finger because it's got a half stop and it's not going to do that. But again, this is about a three, a two or three. This is actually looser. But I remember when this came out, there were so many people who complained that it was such a light uh, pull on it. I didn't quite get that because I got this and I used it and I used it fully. And when you've got this in hand, this is a proper choil finger choil proper you're not going on to that blade when you've got your finger in there this three i would say a larger much larger hand than mine could get on there comfortably and a fatter finger look there's a i'm going to put the fat on my top finger so if you had really big mitts you still couldn't touch the the cutting edge of that knife and i'm way up there so look you know there's there's room for another finger there so probably a lot of the Americans, some of you have six fingers, I said. <laughs> I've said that before, it's getting old now. But I mean, it really is a beautiful, beautiful big knife for five or six fingered humans. I just loved this knife when I got it. Now, the, the one thing I've noticed for me in this knife, I think this is S35VN and titanium. My version is N690 and G10. Now, the G10 is nicely milled. You know, it is nice. It's nice fit and finish. Deep carry pocket clip again. Everything about it. I loved their old pivots that got up there as well. I don't know why they wanted to change them. They were different. They were Kaiser, and that's how you knew Kaiser. I just liked them, so I don't know. But there we go. The difference I feel with mine and this, the difference is the thickness. If I can put them two together for you, can you see the difference in the thickness? This is substantially thicker. And it, it tends to fill my hand a bit more. Um, so if I was going to start cutting up boxes and that, to me this feels a bit more comfortable. But in saying that, that is not uncomfortable. It's just thinner. Um, this would be, to me, the Sunday carry or the office carry. This would be the ticket to the beach or to work. My strange, this, this is a beautiful knife and I love this. I say people didn't like it because of the weak detent. There's no worry in my head about that because I'd, I'd never be carrying it where that blade's going to get at me. Never. This is one of the safest knives, slip joints I have because that forward choil is so good. It is so good. So... Which would I rather have? I'd rather have this one for work and I'd rather have this one to go in somewhere posh like a wedding. <laughs> They're both, I mean, I can't separate them. It's the same knife, just a different cover. Uh, this one's a bit thicker, so it naturally would go to the work thing. Lovely. Comparisons for this. 
there's the comparison. That's the um, UK PK. And this one's an S10V. And I'll just say something about this. This weighs, you know, under two, well under two inches. I think it's about 1.2 ounces. This is the S110V version. It is thin. It is comfortable. There's a forward choil, so it's never going to close on you. S110V. This is about £50 cheaper than a, um, let's say, I'm trying to think of another. They do the Nata 5 in the Blue G10, or the Manix is even more. But this would be £50 cheaper than either one of them. And you get an S110V. At Spyderco, it's the same thing. It's a thinner blade so a better slicey blade. This is an amazing workhorse. And I have workhorse. This has been, this is one of my favourite little carry knives. I put the, have I put the, yeah, I put the wee choil in there as well. So I can sharpen it better. But this is a stunning slicing machine. I got drifted away there, I carried away. But, so there we go. Two beautiful knives from Al. Really glad I got them in hand. It was nice to see this one. Um, again, this is about twice the price of mine. So I've got one. I'll probably not get this. But if I had I had the choice at the time, I probably would have picked a titanium because it is such a beautiful, um, you know, take to the office, take, take out somewhere special to a wedding or whatever. You carry that out and people are just going to admire it. The scamp, very much the same vein uh, or an office desk knife, but just beautiful. It's just showing off workmanship from two companies at the minute, Kaiser and we, that are knocking it out of the park. Um, so I've really enjoyed seeing them. Thank you so much, Al. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to get these off back to you now this week and I'll start. I have a couple of knives to put in now to start it all off again and we'll pass them on the slick slicers. So, take care everybody. I'm going to go and finish this wee cup of tea. And I'll speak to you all very shortly. Take care. Bye bye now.